Hello everyone, this is Mike with another quick video to describe how the MyOpenMath assignments work. Sometimes people get a little confused about the details of how to use and uh, work through the assignments, and so I wanted to take a couple minutes here to give you some advice and some tricks of the trade, if you will, about how these assignments work. Some of you have already gotten started on these, um, but as you get further uh, you may find that some of this advice is helpful. So I'm actually going to jump ahead into uh, one of the assignments. And these are distinct from the activities. The activities, uh, while you'll usually be posting something or creating a document and then attaching that to your uh, discussion forum post, uh, the assignments are actually entirely contained in MyOpenMath. And while many of the MyOpenMath items are multiple choice like this where you just click on a radio button depending on your choice. Uh, in many cases they're free response questions. Let's make sure I can find one here. I keep finding the multiple choice ones. Here we go. So uh, when you get to a free response question there'll be much more of these kinds of questions throughout the course than there are in assignment number one. But as you work with these kinds of questions, a few things you should be aware of. First, when you click on the answer box in order to enter your answer, notice there's a yellow arrow here that you can click on to get a palette of potential, uh, potentially useful uh, mathematical symbols. So in this case, these are the only symbols that you might need for a question like this. But uh, under other circumstances, there will possibly be other kinds of symbols like an exponent symbol or maybe a radical symbol that you may want to use. And so this palette can be useful to you as, as you work. There are also keyboard shortcuts. Um, for example, if you want to type square, or if you want a square root, then you just type SQRT and then put parentheses around the thing that you want to show. So that would be, for example, the square root of 2. Now that's not an answer that you'd want to type in here. Uh, this is asking you to convert 20.8% to an equivalent decimal. Something else that I'd like to show you uh, in the MyOpenMath assignments is that if you enter an incorrect answer, so let's suppose I say that this decimal should be 2.08. When I press Submit, it's going to tell me that I'm wrong but it's going to give me another chance to try the question. And so if I try uh, 20.8 and I submit it again, this is also incorrect, and it's going to tell me that I'm wrong. And notice it now says this is attempt 3 out of 3. So this is my last chance to get this right. Well, if I still don't get it right, let's say I do 20.7 and I press submit, then it's going to tell me that I'm wrong again, and it's going to give me the answer, 0 .20, 0 0.208. Now notice I haven't gotten any credit for this particular item. I still have 0 out of 10 points, but I can try again in order to get full credit. So once I get it wrong three times in a row, it will give me the answer and give me a chance to try it again with a different number. So. Maybe I've learned my lesson, I understand what I'm supposed to type in now, and so on another try, I try 0.617, and I press Submit, and I get it right, and notice now I have 10 out of 10 points on this item. In other words, on these assignments, you get three tries to work on a particular item with the particular numbers that you're given. If you can't get it, correct in those first three tries, you can try it again. And you can continue trying these items until you get the answer correct. My advice is to make sure that if you are trying these three or four times and getting it wrong, that you let me know and ask a question so that I can help you through it. In addition, you'll notice that in these kinds of questions, I want to skip to another one here. So many of these are multiple choice. You'll notice that these have a button that say jump to answer on it. And so if I click on the jump to answer button, it will give me the answer. 
but it won't give me credit until I try it for myself. So it will tell me that the answer to this question is 35.75, but I still don't have credit for it. And notice I'll have to again click on this try another similar question in order to make it work. So keep in mind that sometimes this will be a valuable button for you to use, uh, but you'll actually need to answer it on your own in order to get credit. A couple of quick other things to mention to you. As you get closer to <clears throat> the deadline for uh, any assignment, notice that there's a link here that says use late pass. You should make sure that if you want to extend a deadline that you click on this link within a day or two of the original deadline. If you wait until uh, a week, say, after this deadline has passed, this link will no longer be active. So if you know you're going to miss a deadline, make sure you click on the late pass link in order to extend your deadline. You'll be able to extend the deadline as many times as you like, as long as you still have late passes left. Remember, you get 25 late passes for the entire course. One last thing I'd like to mention about the assignments. Here in the gradebook, when you click on the gradebook uh, link in the menu, you'll be able to see all of your grades and the scores that you've earned for every assignment. Notice that only some of the assignments are active right now. This, will, this list will be much longer by the end of the semester. You can click on a link to go to that assignment, and it will show you uh, what that assignment looks like. It will also um, allow you to use a late pass when you click on this, this link in there. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video or another video about uh, showing feedback, and so this is a, a useful tool, I hope, for you in getting information about um, what I think about your work and uh, the writing that you're doing about it. I think this feedback will be useful to you in preparing for the exams, and so I hope you'll pay attention to it carefully. If ever you have questions about what is appearing in the gradebook, um, or whether or not you think your scores are appropriate, or any questions whatever about your grade overall, I hope you'll let me know, and uh, we'll try to work that out together. In the meantime, uh, keep working as much as you can, uh, finish those activities, and keep working on the assignments. Good luck.